Roger, thanks for dropping by. Just a quick video to start the day. It's a decision making day and a planning day. <laughs> oh dear, better get the aspirins out. Um, yeah, I mean I've got the, the show on Saturday and because Hannah's not coming to this one I can go early and help set up. And at this show they've made an exception. Um, under normal circumstances the Bournemouth Orchid Society to put a a plant in any of their competitive uh, shows or meetings or anything like that you have to have owned it for 12 months minimum yeah so you can't just go and buy one and stick it in a show which makes p good sense to me happy with that but for this one show only because for some reason or other they don't think they're going to get that many plants and part of the reason is we've lost several good growers that would have brought quite a lot of plants. Like Jeff. Jeff Hand used to bring a couple of cratefuls and he'd have plants in most of the sections. Derek always used to bring plenty of plants. So we've lost some of our good growers, yeah? And um, we've got some that have got health issues that are reluctant to venture out. So they're expecting a a lower number of plants and as it's open to the public it's it, the idea is to put on a good show it's our first show for a rather long time um, so they've made an arrangement this time that it doesn't matter how long you've owned the plant so you could have gone and bought it at Burnham's yesterday it doesn't matter you just have to put a label on it saying not for judging so basically they're after anything that's in bloom that's in a reasonable state to make the place look good and full of orchids in bloom. Some of them won't get judged, but that's, that's just, it's a problem for the judges, not for anybody else. The public, just like, you know, they come to see all the flowers and who got what award and stuff like that. You know, I, I doubt if they look at the labels on every single plant anyway. So to fill the tables up, we've got plants that won't be judged. So I've got a decision to make now. What do I take? Literally, what do I take? Now, the two, the two dendrobiums will go. Now this one can be judged, but it's a lousy plant. This one's a lovely plant, but can't be judged. <laughs> it's all good fun, isn't it? Um, my little orangus up there, I'm not getting it down. That can go in. It's not going to get any award or anything, but um, it can go in to just... A plant of interest, you know. Um, the Tolumnia will definitely go. That can be judged. Uh, yes, that can be. I better look up the date. Because <laughs> that came from the Schwerter order, didn't it? I'll look it up. And then I've got my two big Miltonias. That even though some of the blooms are fading, I think there's enough left to take it. And again, that can be judged. And the other one as well. You know, there's a few blooms going but there's enough left on it and it's a good plant and that will fill up the table nicely because they're big plants so those two can go um, I'm not going to take the Vanda, they are too difficult to display despite having two nice spikes it's not a nice plant, it got, it got eaten by the bugs and although it's been treated now and it's okay it's never going to look good again unfortunately as a plant Yeah. Well, that's about all I've got um, I mean I could take the Shari Baby for interest's sake, because it, if we get a bright day on Saturday, there's a load of top windows in the hall. The lower windows tend to have the curtains drawn and the lights are on. But if the sun comes in through those top windows and hits that, that'll smell the hall out. So it could be for interest's sake to actually take that. It's a good blooming spike. It'll look nice on the table. The fact that it's not going to get judged is irrelevant to me. It, it should just help the table. So that's probably the decisions as to what's going to go. I mean, I've got my Victoria Regina's just opening, but that's not open good enough to take to a show, I don't think, even though that's going to be a nice cluster. And there's another one coming on behind, which is way off blooming, way off opening, I mean. But there's not enough there to actually warrant taking that, even though that's an unusual colour and... A, it may even be the only thing that's nearly blue. <laughs> uh, anyway, so that's my decision as to what I'm going to take. But that's got to, they've got to be got ready. 
you know, they'll all have to go in black pots. So I've got to sort out some pots of them. I might not have enough black pots or suitable sizes, but I'm going early. And um, under normal circumstances, there's a huge bag full of black pots to help yourself if you need to. I've got forms to fill in for each. Each of the plants that's going to be judged has to go on a schedule so that they know what's what and who owns what and everything else. So some stuff to do, and if I'm going relatively early on Saturday, I haven't got much time to do much on Saturday apart from get myself ready, get the stuff in the car and actually go. So, you know, that leaves me today and tomorrow. And we're in the middle of the hippie soap treatment. Yesterday, I did that whole shelf with the hippie soap. Got absolutely drowned and then rinsed off, including the top of the media. So they now don't need watering today because they had enough water chucked all over them yesterday to, to do them for a while. The idea today was to do this shelf, so that's the rest of the catlias done then. But if I mix up a litre, there's only a few catlias left on that shelf. Um, and it certainly won't anywhere near use the litre up. So I'd have to find other plants to make use of it. And there are some. There's still some oncidiums to do because the test run certainly didn't do that many. Well, the rest will need doing. As a, the, the oncidiums, especially the twinkles, this lot up here. I just can't get rid of the scale on those, so giving them a good drowning will be well worthwhile. And then it's a matter of individually thinking as I go round every single plant. You're okay, you're okay, you're okay. Not sure about you, we'll get you done. Yeah, just to use it up if you see what I mean. Um, but, although the sun's out today, you can sort of see it out there, it's not going to be out for long. The weather forecast says that later on this morning it's going to cloud over. Po possibility of a bit of drizzle. Yeah, no, no proper rain, of course, because yeah, we need that. So we won't get that, will we? Um, but it's going to be cloudy for the rest of today. Well, that's not a good day to dry all the plants out, is it? Whereas tomorrow it's virtually guaranteed sunshine, therefore warm in here, all day long. <clears throat> so do I leave the hippie soap until tomorrow? <laughs> Another decision. Because um, if I mix it up, I'd like to use it, and I'm going to end up with an awful lot of soggy plants all over the floor, like I did yesterday. <coughs> Excuse me, with the fans on full blast. Um, but I had heat yesterday, we had a sunny day yesterday, and everything dried off nicely by sort of mid afternoon, and um, nothing went into the night time with any water in the leaf joints or anything like that, because we are getting cold nights now. We're getting down below 10 degrees virtually every night so we you know it is we are starting to get a bit of an autumn chill at night times um so uh, <laughs> anybody who's still got plants outside in the uk take care it's getting a bit nippy uh, not all the time but you know just every now and again so you need to watch your temperatures so that's that's decisions for today the van der buckets outside um, it's been sterilised and put outside and the RO unit's running because that's the other decision. I'm getting low on water, yeah? And the water that will be produced by the RO unit will be freezing cold because it's effectively tap water. <laughs> so it's like 40 degrees or 42, I think, tap water comes out. So it's not going to heat up. So I'd be reluctant to spray that all over plants, that's for sure. OK, I could warm it up. But, you know, it's all based on should I just get on and produce all the water today and not do the hippie soap, leave it till tomorrow. Even though tomorrow I'm going to have to get my plants ready for Saturday. Uh, so, decisions. The, this is what it's all about when you've got an orchid collection. And um, videos. Um, I'm getting behind on the project orchids because other things have come along this week. Um, now I want to finish filming the Catlia project orchids today and get that video ready to be posted and it may well be posted later today because this one will go up quickly um, and quite honestly that would be a better use of my time leaving tomorrow to get my plants ready and do the hippie soap treatment and I'll have the water to do it then because I'm getting really low on RO water and the hippie soap treatment as far as I'm concerned should be pure water not tap water you start adding the hardness of tap water in and absolutely soaking plants, you could end up with a residue of marks on your leaves and everything which you don't want. 
so I'd rather use pure water. So I think we'll make the water today and then that will be stored overnight indoors into tomorrow. Do the hippie soap treatment tomorrow plus I will have to water the rest of my pots. The, the, the actual pots need watering tomorrow um, and not get plants soaking wet today when it's going to be a dull day. In fact it might even be better to water the pots today with the dullness. I've got enough water to do them just about but I wouldn't have enough to water my pots and do the hippie soap because it's when I do the hippie soap treatment I don't take the risk of leaving that on the plants. They get to soak for about half an hour and then I use the jet sprayer which is quite a powerful jet to give them a good rinse off including the top of the media down through the media and more importantly it washes a lot of the bodies off which means I don't go back and kill them again next week. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> Uh, anyway, so yeah, a, a decision-making process, and it's early in the day, so I hope I've included everything. But, um, I didn't realise that was as open as it is. That's, that's looking nice. Let me get a close-up of that, even though the light's poor. Yeah, it's looking nice. I still love that bloom. It, it's still, I doubt if it, the colour will come out true. Very rarely does. It's just one of those that um, just doesn't film very good. It's to do with um, reflected light and the way cameras actually pick it up. And there are some orchid blooms well, and other, and other um, blooms in the plant world that just do something to cameras and you know, the light just seems to change its wavelengths and, and you end up not, not getting a true match on the colour. So uh, Anyway, that's all that and um, I'll get this posted. And then I think I'll, uh, I'll water me pots, get on and do that, um, so I've got enough water to do that, while I'm producing a load more water for tomorrow, and finish off filming the Catlia's Project Orchids. <laughs> it's not actually going to take long to do that one, because we've got some pretty sad objects in, in that set. <laughs> we certainly haven't got six nice healthy plants to look at, that's for sure. Anyway, uh, I'll see you later today in the Project Orchids video. I, I, I've sort of made my mind up as I've talked about it that I will get that finished and posted today. And then that just leaves one part to do, which, you know, I'm happy for that to roll into next week. So uh, I'll see you later. And thanks for dropping by.